Hello again, guys. It is Thursday afternoon, about four o'clock in, in Dublin on a beautiful sunny Dublin day. Uh, I'm in the backyard of my sister's house with this familiar character in the background. The driveway actually leads into the backyard and we figured this would be the best place for it. It makes some more room for the other car and the motorcycle and it's obviously the safest back here. And, and quite frankly, Dublin is just one of those cities where a car is something of a liability. The streets are very narrow, as I've told you before, and access is limited to a lot of parts in the city center anyway. So we end up cabin it, taking the taking the bus or walking around. And the public transportation system here is pretty decent. It's not the, it's not the greatest. And I've seen better transportation systems, certainly better than in LA, and you can get around here without a car. So here she sits. A couple of quick updates for you. Sister is now 41 and a half weeks pregnant. I don't know that anyone could have called this one. Um, looks like based on the timing it's looking like I'm probably not going to get to meet my nephew this time around. Um, minor disappointment there but just in case I did get him a little present. Not sure if you can see these but uh, should he decide to come out here within the next uh, few hours he's got these stylish little BMW Formula One Sauber booties waiting for him. Uh, hasn't been a powerful enough incentive as you can see but yeah, not a big deal even if it doesn't happen they're already planning a trip next year to come out and uh, if so uh, that would be fantastic definitely love to see them then and frankly I too am planning my next European delivery I think uh, maybe next year would be a would be a great time to come back uh, another update on, on Coleman, my brother-in-law, uh, that has really worked out absolutely fantastically. Uh, we've had several long conversations and last night we hit the pubs. That was our, uh, <laughs> that was our attempt at inducing labor. We thought for sure that as soon as we get out there and start enjoying ourselves and having a couple of rounds that we would get the call saying, come back, it is time didn't exactly work out but still a very good time and and had uh, yet another good conversation with him and the guinness here guys i this is probably a cliche you've probably heard this before but there is something different about the guinness here it is so i mean guinness is always going to be thick and creamy but here it's a milkshake it's absolutely delicious and it just goes down so easily and it's fantastic. I'm not a beer drinker mind you but I will tell you that the Guinness that I've had here I don't know what's in it it's different and it, it, it's it's worth the trip just to experience the Guinness here um, moving forward tomorrow we are going to be wrapping up uh, this leg of the journey I'm gonna be taking the last ferry out of Dublin and over to Liverpool leaves at 9 gets in a little after midnight in Liverpool and then we're just bombing down the English countrysides in the dead of night to drop this guy off and I catch my flight at 10 in the morning I know it's a crazy crazy itinerary you don't have to tell me but everything about this trip from the very inception has been absolutely crazy and insane so I'm um, you know I'm okay with that we'll we'll, we'll keep that trend going um, I'm sorry that I haven't shot as much video here as I would like, at least for this part of the journey. I know for the first part you've probably seen more than uh, more than you wanted to, but uh, a couple of reasons for that. One, last night on that uh, trip to the pubs with Coleman, I actually lost my little handheld cam, the little the little flip cam that I have. Um, not a big deal, but really what's more important is that there were a couple of uh, things on there that I wanted to share with you that are now, well. They're the, the lost episodes of European delivery made easy in 129 steps. Maybe stop by the uh, the pub again and see if they if it turned up, but not a big deal if it didn't. Um, but that's part of the reason why there hasn't been as much. And also, bottom line is is you know this has been the family con. And uh, while it might be extremely interesting to me, I have a feeling it's not quite as compelling for you. And and when you're sitting around just waiting for a 41 and a half week pregnant woman to to finally get on with things there's there's not a whole lot that goes on it's a whole lot of but that's okay too that's that's part of life too i suppose all right guys i will check in with you tomorrow uh when we, when we start making our way back towards uh home uh, and in this case london heathrow until then